All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get the swing set garden set up for this season. We are going to grow the green beans on here, the Asian yard long green beans again. And that is going to be the only thing growing in here. <laughs> All right, guys. Here is our swing set garden. And what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're in between rainstorms. So first off, I'm going to take and go through each of these tires and get to pull out these weeds. Some of them are the, um, the stinging nettle, which um, really hurt bad. That's what they look like there. They're really, really sharp and pointy. They can give you a rash. They're just not nice. I actually went through my yard here. I dug up a bunch of them and cut them up so they can compost. Um, but there's actually some growing in here too. So today we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get this area prepped. And then I'm going to go ahead if long, as long as the rains hold off, um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the lattice back up with the bamboo. So that way I'll be ready to plant and everything will be ready to go. Okay, got it all taken care of. We took out the tires that were in the middle and moved the dirt to the other ones. The back row here is going to be for the Asian yard long green beans. And then these three up front, I'm going to plant some of the wildflowers uh, mix. So then that way we got the pollinators. And then Donald went ahead and removed the extra uh, metal bars that were on the swing set that we kept hitting our heads on. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the lattice and all of the bamboo poles and I'm gonna put this thing together. Okay, got the lattice up and like I said, we're going to be planting on the far end, so I wanted to make sure that there was enough lattice that they could easily vine up and then be able to come over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the bamboo to the uh, back side, so that way we can have even more areas for them to um, have the vines run up. Okay guys, Donald found this room divider type thing on the side of the road and brought it home well we also had this um, old trough that we really can't use for the animals because it's rusted on the bottom so uh, what we've decided to do is Donald came up with the idea of go ahead and cutting out this wicker um, it's basically wood so we can easily compost it He's going to drill some holes in the bottom of this uh, container and we're going to fill it with dirt and then I'm going to use this to grow my uh, butterfly pea in, which is the uh, flower that you can um, use to drink. If you add lemon to it, it turns it, the water purple instead of blue. You can also use the flowers to make uh, your rice blue, your noodles blue, or if you add the lemon, you can make it purple color. So it's a pretty cool flower and we really like the herbal benefits of it. Um, it has a lot of um, where, antioxidants. Yeah, antioxidants and it helps with joint and pain and stiffness. So we do make that. This past year, unfortunately, uh, Luna, Donald's dog, <laughs> kept eating him. <laughs> so I couldn't grow any. So we are going to go ahead and transform this thing into a nice little um, vine. It, it grows up in a vine, so we're going to use this to uh, trellis trellis it up. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get to cutting. Donald's already got the first section done, and it's pretty easy. <laughs> Easier for me. Yeah, you're stronger. <laughs> Okay, I got the bamboo up and I'm going to secure the sticks now. 
Uh, last year, the vines started coming over onto this. So I'm gonna add these stakes here so that way I can maybe keep them from getting onto this part, but they can still kind of weave in and out. Um, not quite sure about it yet, but I got most of these in through the lattice, crisscrossed. I got a few of them staked in the tires, into the ground, and also crisscross or interweaved between, sorry, my hand, bamboo is uh, left out, <laughs> it's kind of dirty. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I have some leftover wire that are, that I can just go ahead and tie around the bamboo to keep it secure so that way we don't have to worry about it coming apart during the wind or anything. And I'll secure the lattice a little bit better. Um, I reused the ropes, it's paracord from last year, it's falling apart. Um, so I'll probably put some extra wiring around the uh, lattice too, just to make sure it stays up. All right, I'll show you final results in a few moments. Well, it held water at one point. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be awesome. Did it just break? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, food foresters. I got everything attached with some wire. And I'll show you what I did just to secure the bamboo sticks. You know, make sure that, uh, you know, with the Florida storms, nothing kind of gets blown away or... Uh, push down and I also put in some reinforcements here as well so that way everything's good and then over here um, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and use this and I crisscrossed um, that way the uh, the green beans don't get too close to the ground because the problem I had last year was that uh, the animals were eating them on the bottom which, I mean, I don't mind sharing, but, you know, we try to get as much as we can. Donald was able to get all that wicker out. And now he is taking duck dirt, which there he is out there. Pretty much it's where all the uh, runoff goes to. That's where it floods the most. And he's bringing it in here, and we are putting it in here. We'll level this out, and it will also give this some sturdiness hold on to. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some twine, and I'm going to weave in between the bottoms, bottom holes and top holes, so that way the butterfly pea has something to grab onto as it climbs up. All right, food foresters. We are almost to the end with this one. I just have to get in there, tamping down the soil a little bit. And uh, is that the last load in, honey? Um, I think it will be. Yeah. Let me get you to wet it down. Okay. And see where it settles. Okay, cool. Before I make a final decision. All right. I might get one more load or a half a load. All right, well, so we'll, we'll finish emptying that out before we uh, water that down. All right, guys, I ran out of twine, but I got the bottom started. So if I do plant before I can get the top done, it's not a big deal. Um, but I'm gonna do the same thing up top. Just weave it so that way the vines have something to crawl on. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll wait and, uh, until I get the top done and then I'll show you guys the whole thing. Got it all done, guys.